Since its inception in 1837, Tiffany & Company has been known for creating precious objects to be cherished for a lifetime and shared with generations to come. Their enduring appeal derives from the fragile beauty of nature, which is at the heart of every Tiffany design. In addition to the obvious attributes that a, that a piece of Tiffany jewelry has in terms of wonderful design and great craftsmanship and the purity of the metals, is this question of, of provenance. I, I think it's very heartening to know that in the creation of this particular piece of jewelry, not only were environmental impacts minimized um, to the greatest extent possible, but through the creation of this piece of jewelry, communities around the world were, were in fact benefited. Tiffany & Company has always recognized the challenge of mining, processing, and crafting precious materials in sustainable ways and is a leader in advocating for environmentally sound practices. Coral-based ecosystems make a vital contribution to the health of our oceans, and today are seriously compromised by changing environmental factors. Despite its coveted status, coral has not been sold by Tiffany since 2002. In 2002, when we realized that we didn't have transparency into our coral supply chain, we decided to eliminate the use of coral in our jewelry collections. And this is really emblematic of the way we operate as a company. It speaks to our philosophy on sustainability. You know, people often ask us, as, as someone who's, as a company whose livelihood depends on mining, um, why do you oppose the pebble mine? in Bristol Bay, Alaska. Our answer is very simple. There are some places in the world that are so magnificent, so special, so deserving of protection, so deserving of being seen by our children and our grandchildren that mining should never be allowed to threaten them. We believe that, that Bristol Bay is one such place. Tiffany has pledged never to source gold from the proposed pebble mine at Bristol Bay a pristine Alaskan wildlife ecosystem that is the world's most productive salmon fishery. The company's ultimate goal is that air and water contamination is minimized, that basic human rights are respected, and that new mines are not developed on lands of high ecological or cultural value. We have set the highest standards for Tiffany Diamonds. And of course, all of our diamonds are mined in countries that are participants in the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme, but our standards go above and beyond the industry standards. When a customer holds a Tiffany engagement ring and admires its beauty and its brilliance, they can be assured that the platinum was sourced ethically, that the diamonds were mined responsibly, and we want to ensure that we're upholding and protecting human rights and that every customer is proud to own and to wear a Tiffany diamond. The great opportunity is to continue to lead the jewelry industry toward a more sustainable future. We feel that in the next several years, we will have accomplished an extraordinary amount in terms of assuring the responsible sourcing of our platinum, of our silver, of our gold, our diamonds, but we are a small part of the jewelry industry. And while we may succeed wonderfully in our sustainability efforts, we really need to play a part in the broader solution to assure um, the environmental integrity, the social integrity of, of all jewelry products because we are part of the jewelry industry and I think we have a responsibility to lead.